Hey, what's up, Internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here. Just doing a little tutorial on World Guard. Got my friend Josh here, otherwise known as Random Person 2 just to demonstrate the commands that I'm doing. Uh, Hello. Say hi, Josh. Hi. <laughs> so, we're going to try to get through this as quick as possible because all the c tutorials are ridiculously long, and I think we could do it shorter and quicker and just give you the important stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to assume that you have World Guard and World Edit installed as well. If you don't know how to install that, that's pretty easy. Just drop the jar files in the plugin folder and then run your server. So, oh man, the, it's getting night. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so the first thing uh, is it does use kind of a World Edit command. So you're just going to do a slash slash wand to get your wand out. There's going to be a lot of plugins that use this if you. Uh, end up using world edits uh, anyway so what you want to do is f you're gonna set the box of the region that you're gonna define so you left click in the upper right corner and then right click in the other corner sad L alright yeah. so then you basically want to do region but uh, I don't like to type out that much so I do the alias of RG and then you're gonna define which is basically like set creates whatever you want to call it so define and we'll just call it test because that's what we're going to do so once I do that Josh why don't you go ahead and show that you cannot put any blocks in there or destroy anything but you can outside of it okay good job winner can you access the chests? nope okay so the other thing so if we want Josh to be able to edit that region we can do add member to that region and then uh, we have to specify what region we're going to add a member to and then we put in the username and should be able to edit that region now just go ahead and put something in it can you place anything there you go so the other thing that we could do I'm just going to remove member before he wrecks my test area punk so the other one that's helpful is uh, re you do region add uh, member again to test and then instead of a member we're going to do a group if you're using permissions or anything like that now Josh is a part of a couple groups so we're just going to choose our donor group VIP uh, this G is the part that's going to be that's going to specify that you're talking about our group um, so there we go why don't you go back you should be able to still edit that stuff because there you go and then what likewise we're going to do remove member okay now you won't be able to so the next thing that to, that I'd like to show is just the uh, if you're having regions that are going to overlap it's important to set priority and as well as uh, the parents of them so uh, let's go ahead and start defining a new region call this one test 2 region define test 2 and then what you want to do is set the priority of it and it basically by default they set as 0 and if you have regions overlapping each other you want to be sure to have one that's going to be greater than the other one just because then they're going to conflict and it doesn't know which one's going to take the top blah 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 you can go from negative 100 to positive 100 so we'll just set uh, test 2 Oops, to be priority one. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give Josh a. You, what you could do is you can. Uh, let's just add him to it. Okay, I, I got this. It's okay. <laughs> I got you, Josh. Don't worry. Uh, Yay. Okay, so now you shouldn't be able to edit anything in the stone area, but you will be able to edit anything in the middle. There you go. So let's say, let's remove member here. Uh, let's say we don't want Josh to get into the middle area. That now we get to operate in what's called flags. Every region, is, World Guard has something called flags. It's basically like a setting, a variable, however you want to call it. But in any case, they're called flags. So the syntax is you go region, flag, the region that you want to define. And then we're going to go deny. We're going to do entry deny okay so um, now Josh should not be able to enter that middle one but if we want to give him uh, access to it 
what we want to do is then we want to add him as a member to it. Add member test two. Uh, yeah, random person oh two. Or if you're doing groups, like if you got a prison server, you would do a group. You know, uh, certain prisoners have access to certain areas. You'll do a group like this. So then, if you do that, oh, I misspelled member. That's awesome. Okay, now you should be able to get there. <laughs> All right. So we went over that. Let's say um, you got a bunch of regions and you forgot which region is wherever you are, or maybe there's like you're setting all the pro properties correctly and stuff's still not working right. If you stand in an area, this is very helpful. You just type in region info. It's going to give you the information of whatever region that you're standing on that has the highest priority. So if you see one, you're like, oh, well, that's not the right one. You could even just lower the priority or delete it. It's up to you. So I guess that's uh, all the stuff that I've come across that I find the most helpful. You can find more information on the flags. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that World Guard can do. This is just to get you started and get uh, the basics so you understand the plugin. You can start using it. Um, it's up to you for the customization of it. So this is Kaz from Minecraft Friends and Josh uh, saying good luck and hope your server goes well. Say, say goodbye, Josh. Bye. <laughs>